guys welcome to back to this channel uh, once again a greetings to all of you wherever you may be I don't know what time you're watching this video it's a good morning it's a good afternoon thank you so much for coming back to the channel remember it's mix from the mix creation always giving me the updates in today's video there's a question that I was asking and it's about the freelancer visa yes remember when you're on a freelancer visa you will need to have your ID, you need to pay up for your ID, you need to do up your medical. But the question was, for how long is it going to take for me to take to get my residence permit or what we call the cut ID? Normally, that's something that I need to let you, uh, let it be under company, let it be under, um, uh, let it be freelancer, let it be under company. Uh, normally what happens is that for you to get your ID you first need to go and take what you call the medical fitness test I told you what about the medical fitness test I told you what they normally test for the normally test for those kind of diseases or they normally test whatever they have to test uh, what you call under the medical uh, fitness test and once you pass what you call the medical fitness test the next step that you will be called is you will be called to go and do what you call the finger prints you will definitely go to do what you call the fingerprints so when you go to the go the fingerprints they will take your fingerprints and definitely after you taking your fingerprints there then then you will have what you call they will they will definitely have to start to processing your what you call your residence permit or what you call your qatar id for that matter meaning that when you pass the medical when you definitely pass the medical you are eligible to work in the country normally some companies you see that you get to understand that some companies do it even in in one month some companies even in three weeks some companies even in one week definitely that is done depending on how many people depending on how how many employees that company has then definitely that's where the, the service will be a little bit much quicker at the end of it all and um, definitely when you look at a freelancer i think a freelancer you only one person and this one now the dealing is between you and your sponsor because your sponsor has to be the signatory on uh, on that request for you to do what you call the medicals and for you to do what you call the fingerprints at the end of it all so it depends on how uh, how flexible is the person who sponsored you or the sponsor uh, how flexible it may be a company that sponsored you with a free visa uh, it is that person how flexible he is if it's very fast then definitely you can have your id very fast in, 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 without even the time that you may think and done definitely you still also have to take the medical you still have to take the medical fitness test and you still have to take the fitness test so the the period that uh, we estimate the period uh, according to the law it's supposed to be two to four days out of the two to four days you definitely know that you have your kata your kata id or your residence permit will be ready but normally uh, what i need to let you know that is why normally your residence permit the notification that your residence permit or your id is ready will definitely be sent to the person who applied for your id and normally sometimes it's just your sponsor they will be uh, they will be they will send them the notification that your id is ready for collection and if it's going to deliver it is going to be delivered by the post uh, normally what happens is that the the q post here the cutter post will deliver those that those ids or that id to his uh, to his residential or his box number or his residential address at that time so it will just be only an initiative or it will be your initiative at you to go and ask him to take give your id or um, he will call you to give you your ID so that you can start using your ID. But some people, some sponsors, uh, uh, some visa sponsors, they may not want to give you the ID as early as possible. Uh, I don't know for what matter, depending on what kind of obligation you have. If you do not clear up all the money, then or if you have some pending charges that you need to pay, he may not give you the ID. But uh, for all that one, is it comes back to what you call the personal people. Uh, personal understanding between you and that person the sponsor of your visa but normally it takes two to four days to print that id after taking what you call your fingerprints hope i've tried to answer you well and hope i've tried to give you that in good thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for supporting this channel the new subscribers and the old subscribers thank you so much it's mix from the next creation tv